In this quick After Effects tutorial, we will learn how to make this amazing looking logo reveal animation. And this one is actually super simple. I will show you a really easy trick to transform your normal logo into these uh, nice strokes and how to animate them smoothly. So I'd say let's just go right into it. So I'll make a new composition and just leave it the normal settings. Let's also add a solid back one real quick. And then obviously we need our logo. And yeah, for this one it's super important that this logo has like two really yeah, essential attributes. For once it has to be transparent, so we need a transparent PNG file. So as you can see it doesn't have any background at all. And it has to have like sharp edges, so it shouldn't be like an, an image or a drawing. It has to be like really clean 2D, just like this Tesla logo for example. And yeah, with this we can actually, yeah, transform this into strokes with just one simple trick. So let's select this layer and then go to the layer settings and click auto trace. And then we can just leave these settings and hit OK. And now as you can see, this one is transformed into yeah, some masks. And now we will copy these masks onto a shape layer, which we then can animate easily. So let's add a new shape layer. Just right click in here and add a shape layer. And now we can open up both the this newly generated auto traced um, layer and the shape layer. And let's also open up the, the mask settings. And for this one, we have two masks because we have two separate yeah, pieces for this logo. But for you, it can vary. Maybe just uh, one mask or more, depending on how much separate pieces you have. And yeah, we now want to copy these two mask paths onto our shape layer so we then can animate it by using the shape settings. So let's first add some path so we can just click add and add a path. And actually let's add two paths because we have two masks. So just add however, uh, how many uh, masks you have, the equivalent and paths. And then can just open these up, uh, press on the mask path and just control C it to copy it and control yeah, V it in here to paste it. And let's do this for the second mask as well. Copy it, Control C, open up the second path and uh, paste it in here, just like this. And now we can already disable this layer and the other one or make it them invisible. And yeah, now we see we have this shape layer. This will may need some adjustments in the scaling. Again, so let's scale this down a bit. But yeah, now we can start by adding a stroke just like this and increasing the brightness a bit until we can actually see it or yeah until it looks nice so you can put in whatever you want in here and let's just go with 20 for this example and this looks cool but it's not animated so let's also add a trim paths effect which we can then open up then we can go to wherever we want this logo to start animating in and bring this the end setting down to zero and put in a keyframe and then let's go to wherever we want this to be fully revealed and bring this up to 100 again and yeah now if we play this we can see we get this super cool animation and yeah what i did in the um example as well i copied this one by pressing ctrl d and yeah, let's add a smaller path. So let's open up the stroke and decrease this to something like 10. And also let's open up the trim paths and put in a positive value, a small one for the offset, like 30 maybe, 20 or 15. And now we can see we get this nice small line going uh, in front and then the thicker one following. And maybe let's even turn the whiteness down a bit. I just think that's a cool detail, but you can leave this layer out. So if you don't want this, of course, you can just leave it with that one in here. But I think that looks cool. And yeah, as soon as this is done, we could also duplicate this uh, layer again, especially uh, or the, the lower one. And for this one, we can just um, open it up and delete the stroke and the trim paths and just add a fill effect. So this one will be the final stage of the reveal. And let's also give it the white color. 
so this is just um, in place and yeah let's just uh, make it invisible real quick and check out when this animation is like 90% done or 80% like in here maybe then we can yeah let's unhide it again and press T on the keyboard to access the opacity settings and let's bring this down to zero and just keyframe it and then just go forward like one or two seconds or uh, one second should be enough and bring this back to 100 and now you can see first of all the uh, stroke will come and then the fill will just go in and this just looks super cool and yeah that's it already and thanks for watching